Oh yeah, people, Christy Salem coming in live, showing you what you gotta be doing on the weekend to be 99% happy all the time. <clears throat> oh, we've never met before. I'm Christy Salem, inspirational entertainment. You know it, ChristySalem.com. Brand new ebook out called Shape Your Reality. Oh, and it comes in a bundle with a t-shirt. It's so cool. So we never met before. I talk about winning. And a big thing is, you're not happy. So many of you are just miserable. And I know exactly why. I'm going to show you how to fix it. And you'll, then you'll be like, dang, Chrissy, you made my life a rock and roll party. Because I'm here to rock you, shock you, and devil you, TF you. <clears throat> so you went out for an evening scroll. Let me turn that music down so you don't miss anything. You went out for an evening scroll. Yeah, there was nothing on Roku that was catching your attention. Ah, oh, Prime, you've watched all the sitcoms and the new movies. Oh, have you seen the Rocky movies? Oh, yeah. So I want to go to, I'm going to go to my favorite platform and look around a little bit. And so you're scrolling along. Oh, and you're running to me. You're like, damn, is this guy on all the time? No, but I do go seven days a week, man. So if you follow me, you know I'll keep you motivated. You know I keep you inspired. I know, you know that I show you how to stay happy 99% of the time. Because how many of you can say that? Oh, rub your legs together, you're a bunch of crickets. You're not happy. Money flatlined a long time ago. Been the same. Cost of living raise, maybe got one of those, but... All oh, the prices of gas and food just washes it right out. You know it. Do I need to ask you to leave a like? You know you're having a great time. Leave a like. Double tap that screen. Share me with somebody. Got somebody you care about? You must have somebody you care about. And they're a little bit down? Oh, go ahead. Send me over. Mm. I'll show them a good time. Oh, you got somebody you don't like? Somebody you want to stick it to? Oh, for some oddball reason, I stick it to some people and it just bugs them. So, share me with them. You gotta be like, you gotta check this guy out. You're gonna hate him. They'll be like, oh, let me see, let me see. Mm. And tell him, Chrissy Salem sent me. Man, you're sick of being miserable. Come on. You know it. Money's been the same for too long in your health. We just talk about your weight before we talk about your health. Questionable health, poor health. And your waistline, you know, I guarantee you three or five, maybe 10 years ago, when you were a large, you didn't plan on being a 2XL. But here you are today. What happened? I know exactly what happened if, if you don't. <clears throat> I'm gonna share that in just a minute. And then love life. What love life? What? Tell me, Chrissy, what love life do I have? The last one was a bum. Oh, maybe the one you have now, maybe you're a dude right now, your chick's like 90 pounds overweight, got a big mouth. And you put up with it. This man, there's no other options. I'm going to show you how to get out of that, too. Or maybe you're a lady, the last guy just... Promised a lot of things, wound up being a jerk, you have to break up, and now you're by yourself. So we all find ourselves in these situations at these points in our life, and it's just a miserable time. So some of us are going through all three, or two, or one. Man, even if you got a job, it's still a struggle. Am I right? Leave a like. I'm going to show you how to get out of all this, and man, when you're happy 99% of the time, let me tell you what, your bank account, oh, it's grinning like a chimp. Oh, and your waistline, oh, it's getting trimmer by the day. Oh, and your love life, options are opening up. For some funny reason, you're meeting more people. It's crazy how this works. All right, 99% happy all the time. So you went out for an evening scroll, you ran into me. You're like, okay, okay, I'm open. I want to see what this is all about. It's quite the unique presentation. Oh, because sometimes you need to change a company and to change the scenery to get you to stop and catch your breath. And just realize you're tired of being unhappy. You know, somebody did that for me. I pay it forward now. 
Yeah, they had a unique presentation, but it caught my attention and it stopped me. I said, I could do that. I think I could do that. Oh, so here I am. Going on five years. Rocking you, shocking you, and WTFing you. Hey, quick shout out. Have you met my co-star, Jesse Pump? Oh, man. She's a babe. I couldn't ask for a better helper. Been together almost a year now. Special anniversary videos coming out. Oh, you're going to love them. Me and Jesse Pump getting down and getting with it. Because if there's two people that care, two people that want to make a difference for you, what's well, going to be Jesse Pump and me? If we've never met before, I'm talking about Jesse Pump and I'm Chrissy Salem. She's up tomorrow night, man. 9.30. Oh, yeah, the Hell on Heels Girls Club is being called to order and she's got something hot to talk about. So, make... Take a Roku break at 9.30 tomorrow night. Spend a half hour with Jessie Pump. Oh, yeah. Because girls want to be like her. Boys want to know her. That bugs me. She's becoming quite a role model. All right, then special. Now a commercial break for a, a real babo rama Stay with me. You're going to love this. There's all kinds of live streams. Am I right? And all live streams have a, have a fair share of negative comments. In fact, if you're not getting a lot of negative comments, then what's up with your engagement? Now, I'm pretty good at getting some negative comments. I get a lot of these drive-bys, right? Just boom, boom, boom. And they leave. Well, man, I don't want you to leave, so... I got together. The hottest babes on social media. And they're nurses. They're, they're called binky bottle nurses. Yeah. You know, there's a baby bottle emoji. Well, man, if you, if you promise to stay and keep complaining, you will get a binky bottle from one of them. Man, of these babes, it's hourglass figures, long, beautiful hair. And when they look at you and give you a bottle, I wouldn't move. Don't let their beauty deceive you. So shout out to Christina and Mona, Lady J, Just Lovely, Katrina, Jen, Fanny, Colleen, Simone. Oh, you're doing a bang-up job, a bang-up binky bottle job. Let them have it, ladies. Mm. So something popular, before I, before I go any further, something popular, if you're new here, you've never done this before, but we all have a great kick out of doing it. It's a group activity. Doesn't matter where you're at. Real quick, real fun, get us all on the same page of what's coming up next. Because it's going to get warm. So we'll talk about spoons. Yeah. So we're going to spoon together. I know it's crazy. So you're holding your phone or whatever. Just turn to the side a little bit. Cock your head like this. Oh, let's spoon. Mm. Oh, that felt good. And somebody's grabbing. They what did you do Saturday night? I spooned with Chrissy Salem. Mm. He's so warm. Mm. So listen, if we're a couple, I'm going to get serious now. If we're a couple dudes, man, we're hanging out cool. Nothing weird. Oh, if this is a romantic notion? Because there's a small group that entertains romantic notions. Well, I'm a game. So let's do this. Pull up that little black leather left seat. Oh, and turn the lights down low. Oh, and scooch over. Let me sit down next to you. And I, and I said, am I warm? Oh, you betcha. Chrissy, what are you? Chrissy, I can smell you. What do you smell like tonight, baby? Oh, vanilla and eternity. Mm, quite the combination. All right. So we're together, we're talking. So let me ask you a couple questions. Three questions to be exact. And answer them in your mind. There's a little, you gotta write something down. I hope you got something to write with. If not, remember to write it down. Uh-huh. I gotta say that though. So what's bugging you about your money? It is a weekend night. And no matter what you do to get distracted, this thought about something about your money comes back to you. Yeah, maybe you're not you're not telling anybody about it. It's just between you and you. What is it? It's bugging you. Not enough? Too many bills? Or damn, what am I going to... Tomorrow's going to be what? Mac and cheese again? Or is tomorrow night lobster and steak? Or is it vegetarian? Getting together with the ladies for brunch? Everybody chipping in? Yeah. Keep that free water and lemon wedges coming. There's not much money for a tip. These are the realities going on. So what is bugging you about your money? Man, be real with yourself. It's just you and I. Write it down. 
All right, number two is talk. Let's get back to your health. I brought that up earlier. And really what I'm talking about is you being overweight. 70% of you are overweight or obese and you're responsible for every morsel. Every morsel. Now, I know there's a group that's genetic or medical. Or, that's fine, man. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to the other group that just takes in too many calories and don't burn them off. And then sits back and says the world should accept me for who I am. And wonders why their partner options are like bottom of the barrel, if any. Well, look, man, you've heard this before. You don't make the rules and I don't make the rules. And one rule of this world that we live in is it judges the book by its cover. And it's a proven fact that books with great covers sell more copies. That applies to us as people. So what's your cover look like? Are you? Would you buy it? Would you buy that cover? Oh, you would, huh? Um, who else would besides you? So it's great you got that cocky self-image, but it, it's a wash. It's zero. Need to make it real now. So see, you got to lose weight. Talking to a few young ladies, man, got a lot of weddings coming up in August and September, and they want to lose that weight. One's got an heirloom family dress. One's got a brand new dress. One's at the resale shop, but they all got one thing in common. They want to lose that weight, and they're serious. They're like, Chrissy, can I do this? Yeah, can, can I do this? No. The motivation, you got to stay motivated. Man, when you're happy 99% of the time, oh, man, your waistline's not a problem because you're always addressing it. So talking about your health, your waistline, the whole package, don't you want to look good? You know you do. Don't you want to feel great all the time? Have energy 24-7? Perfect sleep? How about not waking up? How about having perfect sleep? Instead of spending $10,000 on a mattress. How about this? No aches and pains. Can you imagine? All starts with weight loss. So is that something you got to pursue? Is that something you got, that's been weighing on your mind? No matter what you do to try to... You could be watching me to get distracted and I'm talking about the damn subject. How you're trying to escape from? Well, let's address it. What's bugging you about your health? Write it down. Mm. All right, let's talk about romance. It's a fun one. Mm. Because number one, we all want it. Don't matter who you are, we all want it. So, so let's see, what, what, which group are you? Are you a queen looking for her king? And you better come with a rock. Or you already got a king lined up and a rock lined up and it's happening. Wedding in the books, getting ready for that dress. Oh, are you a king? Are you a king tonight, man? You are going to comb the countryside this weekend. Oh, to find that beautiful, chaste, virgin, peasant girl to make her your queen. Oh, good luck. But they're out there. You got to peruse a lot of countrysides. Maybe outside the country. Are you a young prince? Are you a young prince? Man, got a meeting with another young prince tonight and it's your first time. You're a little nervous. But so be it. Are you a young princess? You told your parents it's a sleepover, but it's really another young princess that you kind of been exploring. Oh, doors are being opened this evening. Or do you want one on each arm? See, whichever scenario I play out, you want romance. I got a little worm in here, didn't it? You know it. Leave a like if you want romance. Mm. Always after we spoon, we want... Always after we spoon, the conversation turns to romance. Don't know why. So let me teach you something. You've been talking. If I ask you what you've been talking about just in the last couple hours, what's your answer? So what do you mean I've been talking about, Chrissy? Well, see, all of us are always talking to ourselves, incessantly jabbering in our heads. Always. Am I right? Leave a like. Normal human experience. Oh, when is it ever quiet? Maybe when we're sleeping. But man, when you're awake, it's always. And, you know, and an interesting point. We always say that it's not good to judge and don't judge. So we practice, most of us practice that. Oh, there's a few people on here not practicing it, but that's okay. Enjoy your bottle. But we all judge. How many times have you looked at someone or something, stood back and thought to yourself, I could do better than that. Well, you're judging it, see? 
So that's where the judging happens too. So it's a powerful place. All your decisions. So what? when I ask you, what have you been talking about? I'm talking about what you're talking about with you. Because if you're talking about the wrong things, this is what happens. Your bank account gives you its middle finger because you're not doing nothing about it. Nothing substantial. Oh, and your waistline is like, I want a salad. Give me a salad. And man, you came by with a third helping of pasta. And your love life, what love life? Don't forget to order the person the lubricant. It comes in discreet packaging. Now, haven't we all been there? We're still there. There's another problem when it comes to romance and people is for those of you that have what I call your lifetime partner, right? The friend, the lover, all wrapped into one. Now, that's a box. Most people want to check off. Because there's so many experiences, man, you're just waiting to get at, right? Like traveling together, doing things together. You want that lifetime partner. So for those of you that have it, I'll shout out to you, man. That is a beautiful reality. But most, most people don't have it. Most people want it. But that person never appears. You know, people pop into our lives. Am I right? Kind of looks like them. But it wasn't them. And you wasted the time. Oh, it kind of tastes like them. But it wasn't them. Oh, and, and you know that when you when it was dark, you imagined it was the one and you knew all along it wasn't them. And you had to break up. Time just keeps ticking. And they don't materialize. Why? And you're doing everything right. Correct? You got a job. You're stable. Maybe you got a house. Nice apartment. Uh, you're a little bit overweight. Mm -hmm. But that's fixable. But all in all, you're a pretty good person. You bring a lot to the table. Maybe you got an education. Yeah, a lot of experiences, a lot of accolades. Cool, cool. Oh, but you know what? None of that stuff's got anything to do with a lifetime partner. A lifetime partner is the essence of two people. That can't be denied. <clears throat> so if you have a lifetime partner, you know what I'm talking about. So why don't we attract it? Why don't we don't get what, how come we don't get what we want? Because we want to sincerely check off that box. Because there's another list. Oh, there's another list of things that, well, it's called a stinker list. So please, everybody show me your stinker. Oh, baby, let me see that stinker. Woo. There's a list of things about us that stink, right? Character habit, character traits, habits, annoying things, like the toothpaste, the toilet paper. All the, the list is endless, but it's the totality. Oh, let me say a big word. It's the totality of all those things. It repels. It repels that partner of a lifetime. So we got to work on our stinker list. Address the things that are on it. You know, maybe you're a real smart aleck, right? And you know people don't like it. You got to tone that down. Maybe you're a jackass. Well, it's not funny anymore. You got to let it go. It's different now that you're in your 30s versus your 20s. There's some things you got to let go. But there's things that stink about you. Be honest. Be brutally honest. Because you thought, all of us that thought about that better version of me. And we listened to podcasts and we might spend money on books. Maybe even a seminar. We always come back empty handed. We come back with some ideas, but empty handed. There is no better version. Oh, let me say it for the record, there is no better version, but there is this. There is you, the individual, that whoever you are today, you built it. You made it. You're the owner. That means you can knock it down and make a new one. Oh, yeah, you got to break through some walls and build new ones. That's where you are. That's where that person you want to be is. But you got to be willing to break through them walls. And a lot of times these walls are our thoughts. Yeah, man, it's our thoughts. Because over the years, over time, you've made little promises to yourself. Little agreements and you break them. But what happens to them? Nobody knows about them except you. Well, these little broken promises and these broken agreements, they, they pile up around you. It's like, a, it piles up like a wall all around you. You can't see through it, can't see over it. And you think this is who you are. Oh, and you're wrong. 
So what is it about you that stinks? You got to be open, man. And let's start to address it. So we're going to write down three things. Oh, we got to work a little bit. Or remember to write them down. Uh-huh. What's bugging you about your money, your health, and what's something you got to work on about you that stinks? There it is. Three goals. Real small. Can you have more goals in your life? Oh, you betcha. But the time, the energy, the effort for the three that we've got written down can consume you. In fact, you got to let it consume you. If you really want to be that person you're talking about, let it consume you. Then you'll get what you want. Oh, yeah, we've never met before. I'm Chrissy Salem, and I'm gonna, we're going to do something together. Oh, it's a fun exercise. It's one line. Repeat after me. I guarantee you're going to have a lot of Because all of us have these introspection questions. Am I right? Leave a like. Like, why do I think like this? Why am I dealing with these why introspection questions about ourselves? Well, this little exercise is going to answer a whole lot of them. Because what we're talking about messes with us. Check this out. So, do it together. What I'm talking about, talking about, is what I'm thinking about, is what I'm thinking about, and what I'm thinking about, thinking about, is what I'm focusing on, and what I'm focusing on, I'm getting. So what you been getting? What have you been focusing on? Because if it's chaos, if it's, if it's the weather and sports and celebrity news and TV, then how's that affecting you? This is what you're talking about in your head, complaining about your health, people, this and that, your job. All that energy going. When all that energy needs to do is be channeled into your money, your health, and your you as a person. That's when the rock and roll party starts. So what we talk about is very important. So it's a thought filter. We need some thought filters. We got to filter what's going on up here. So let's do that again. What I'm talking about is what I'm thinking about. And what I'm thinking about is what I'm focusing on. And what I'm focusing on is what I'm getting. So you gotta ask yourself, what have I been getting? Are you getting that partner you want? Getting that love? Getting that money? That waistline looking better? If you're not, then you're talking about the wrong things. Oh yeah, people, Chrissy Salem. So listen, we're on YouTube and I'm doing I'm on TikTok simultaneously. Look, it says live access removed. So what offended TikTok? What did I say that's so offensive? Mm. Somebody wasn't having a good Roku break. Interesting. We'll have to take care of that. Because you know what? I am fully dressed. Mm. And talking real. And that's why some TikTok wants to be the next YouTube. Not going to happen. Mm. Oh, yeah. So shout out to YouTube. Because I don't say anything offensive. Just somebody's not having a good Roku break. Mm. I disturbed their evening. They complained about me. All right. So getting back onto what we want and being happy 99% of the time. We got to watch what we're talking about. So yeah, there's a little work involved, a little exercise, but it's a lot of fun. So let me, let, let's, we're going to do two short lines that you're going to most likely know. 99% of you will know. And I'll clue you in who it is. We'll do it together. You'll see what I'm talking about. It, it's a mindset, an attitude. It resets what's going on up here real easy. So do we have any Judas Priest fans in the house? Oh, you know it. Now, if you don't know who Judas Priest is, bear with me. Judas Priest is a heavy metal legacy band. If we were to lock you in their catalog, you would never want to leave. Man, I was cranking up uh, heading out to the highway before I went live. But they have a song called You've Got Another Thing Coming. You've got another thing coming. And two lines. One life, I'm going to live it up. You're making a decision and you're taking action. Your decision is, I decide this is one life. And number two, you're going to decide to what? Live it up. 
So that, that, that infers that no matter what happens, you're going to find a way to live it up. So let's do it together. One life, I'm going to live it up. Oh, one life, I'm going to live it up. One life, I'm going to live it up. Don't that feel good to make a decision just for you? And you got a plan. All right, so I got one life. <clears throat> I'm going to live it up. That's a Judas Priest song. Called, and that song is full of these these thought, I call them thought filters, but man, this, I use this one all the time. It just, it sticks. One life, I'm going to live it up. Easy, quick to remember. You know, so, so you're on your way to work and you get stuck in traffic and you get a little frustrated. Remember, oh, one life, I'm going to live it up. Oh, you get to work and, oh, they put you with that bum co-worker again. Who's had that experience? But remember, you made a decision. One life, I'm going to live it up. One time is first break. So it could be any host of things. When life hits us, we got to remember, one life, I'm going to live it up. All right, so I have my own, and this has become a song, which I will record. Two lines. Let's do it together. We're, we're going to say it, then we'll sing it. And this, this is really your thought filter. Because I use it like crazy. And if you've been here before, we've done it before. That's awesome. We're going to do it again. Because the conversation about what's going on up here never ends. You think your bank account gets tired of you talking about your money? You think your waistline gets tired of you talking about your health and working on it? Nope. See what I mean? So we're going to make a decision and plan for the absolute worst. Don't that sound like fun? You know it. Leave a like. So, so I make it a beautiful day even when nothing is going my way. All right. First line. So I make it a beautiful day. What did you do? You decided. So I make it a beautiful day, even when nothing is going my way. So even when nothing is going your way, you made a decision. You're going to make it a beautiful day. Nothing hokey, nothing weird. It's an attitude, a mindset that you want to cultivate. You want to keep it up here. Because what happens when you and I are apart? You're getting bombed by everything. Am I right? By people, places, things. In all kinds of forms and fashions, and sometimes you get offended, it jacks with your mood, it jacks with your attitude. We've all been there. We could put a stop to that and be 99% happy all the time. Begins with what we're thinking about. So let's do, we're gonna sing it now, we're gonna jingle it. Mm. So, so I make it a beautiful day, even when nothing is going my way. So I make it a beautiful day, even when nothing is going my way. Fist bump. All right, so I make it a beautiful day, even when nothing is going my way. So I make it a beautiful day, even when nothing is going my way. So here's... So here's a real-time life example. I, I just put it into play. I'm go, I'm live on TikTok and YouTube and somebody complains about me on TikTok, they, they shut off my live. I decided to make it a beautiful day, no matter whatever comes my way, see? Or you're on the job, like I said, man, sometimes you get stuck with a bum coworker or you get a nasty task to do. And you're ready, yeah. but see? You're not going to be happy if you go back to the old you. You got to remember, you decided to make it a beautiful day, even when nothing is going your way. <clears throat> hey, let me get a screenshot so I can see who I'm talking to because it's kind of dark in here. Mm, save that to photos. The super. Bear with me. Okay, the super is in the house. Super, are you subscribed or are you just a first timer? This is our first time, super. Super, you having a great time. We talked about your money, we talked about your waistline, we talked about your love life. What do you think? Good to go everywhere, check those boxes off. Chrissy Salem, been there, done that. I'm already there, thanks buddy. All right, if that's you, man, leave a comment to help somebody else. Yeah, because a lot of people struggle with these things. And for, and for, the, small, and for the small group that doesn't struggle with them so much because you've made great strides, I mean, you got to encourage those under you. 
It's a ladder. We're all climbing a ladder. Oh, who's looking up? And what am I looking up at? Mm. See, so yeah, I have a special life tonight because I, I realized, man, not happy. People aren't happy. You're not happy. But so I'm happy. I could say I'm happy 99% of the time. Been like this for at least five, six years. Because I decided, I make a decision to make it a beautiful day, no matter what comes my way. I mean, who doesn't struggle with some money problems or some health problems? With partner problems, relationship problems, kid problems, problems on the job. Oh, but when you and I get together, we escape for a little while and man, we get to talk about you. Because what's everybody talking about? You know, when you and I are part, what's everybody talking about? Not you or me. They're talking about the weather, politics, sports, celebrity news, their aches, their pains, the job they hate. Oh, but when you and I get together, man, we're just talking about you having a great time. Oh, and at the same time, you got rocked. At the same time, you got shocked. And at the same time, you got WTF'd. Mm. Oh, yeah, people, Chrissy said we've never met before. Shout out to Super being on here. And, man, Mike, Colleen, Mercury, Xanrex. Oh, if you find yourself perusing this live stream, I saw you. Mm. All right, everybody, Chrissy Salem, I love you. We're going to do this again. Oh, yeah.